I'm going to be demoing uh, stitching together multiple scans. So there we go. We got the connect for Windows 10 10. And while the scanner starts, we'll go into settings. We'll make sure that feedback quality is on low because all we care about is the uh, GPU GT browser. So that's good. Let's put this somewhere where we know we can remember it. Let's call it new scan 00. We got that, and we'll start. So as you can see, I've got just some Microsoft bags filled with boxes. Um, ScanX didn't like just scanning boxes for some reason. But uh, so, and I didn't have a person around to test this with. So uh, we got our, our subject here, um, nice and red in the heat map. That's what we want. Hit record, and then we're starting at the bottom. We're going up to the top, back down to the bottom, and now I'm actually getting up from the computer and I'm going to rotate our subject 120 degrees. Now we've got that, and now I'm going to hit stop. Synchronize the frame, finalize the mesh, and as you can see, it's not that pretty. But we'll go to, we can skip reconstruct, we can skip process. All we want to do is go to share. If we hit save, we're going to save the path right there. Um, and we hit save. Yes, we know that. And it's done. Okay. So now we go back, um, we hit new, our new path will be new scan 01, scan X is nice and just adds on a number for you, hit save and start, and the exact same as before, we hit record, we're starting at the bottom, moving up to the top. And now I'm coming over here, and I'm going to rotate this 120 degrees again. I've got little markings here. I'm going to try to check and make sure I line it up well. And that's good. So now we, uh, we hit stop. Synchronize the frames, finalize the mesh. Again. Doesn't look too pretty, but that's fine for now. Skip reconstruct, skip process, just go straight to share, save, hit new scan one. Yes, we know, we know things, and we come back to prepare. New, change the path one more time to be our last new scan two. Save that, hit start, and same as before. Make a scan. We're going to go up, down, try not to lose geometry, and then lastly, rotate 120 degrees. And once our little markings set back up, you'll notice that this is the same position that we started with. So we'll synchronize the frames, finalize the mesh again. Doesn't look pretty. We can skip that, skip that, go straight to save, and save. Yes. All right. So now we're going to close ScanX really quick. We'll open up, go to our documents, my scans. This is why you want to put it in a good spot so you know. Now we'll find new scan 01, should be go into the images folder, control A to select all, and there is a lot of them, so just hit control A, oops, control A, copy, and come into new scan 0, and just right click, paste. And that'll take a while. I might speed up the video.
we go back to box test, go to new scan O2, images, control A, copy, box test, new scan zero, 0, and the raw was printed in the first one, and hit paste. Almost done. Cool. So now, new scan zero, 0, our first scan, instead of just having the images from the first scan, has the images from all the other scans as well. And you'll notice that they all get put in chronological order, which is, I think, important. I haven't tried messing with that, uh, mixing up the names, but. So now we'll leave it, start up ScanX again, let it detect the center. if it doesn't detect it. There we go. We'll, we'll, we will load an existing scan. New scan zero, 00. And we load. And it might take a while to load because it's a lot of pixels. But, oh, that was it. So you can see on before we've reconstructed it, our scan path we've got more than one up and down. So we've got, it looks like two up and downs right there, and then one up and down right there. So that means that my angles weren't perfectly 120 degrees. But you can see our little scan path here. And right now it doesn't look like it's giving us the full 360 view, but that'll, that'll uh, fix it later. So I'm going to put this on high and DPU. Uh, I've not tried this with CPU, and I assume it'll do the same, it'll just take a lot longer. So GPU on high, run. And of course, we've got our, um, our little preview window here, our loading bar. This is going to take forever, so I'm just going to speed it up. Um, So you can see that because it was so in sync, the frames didn't even gutter. So there's no way we lost any tracking. But uh, this is now our second scan that we're mixing together into the first one. And it's working just fine. All right, right about now is when the third scan is starting. And it should go up in a second. There it is. And you can see, of course, we didn't lose tracking because we rotated to that position. for the final rotation onto the initial frame, just to capture that little last little bit of geometry. And there we go. So watch Watch how this path changes when the scan completes reconstruction. Alright, we're getting closer. And you'll watch the path. See now, the path went from there to up, down, over, up, down, over, up, down, over, up, down. And you can see we have a full three-dimensional object. Obviously no top. I didn't really get the top of it, but um, this isn't the best subject exactly, but uh, it's more of a proof of concept. So uh, make that go back to that view. Uh, we can go to process.
do all the stuff we want to. Um, first remove some small parts. There we go. And we will colorize. Oh, we'll fill the hole. I don't like moving. Because that's much watertight. Actually, going to be doing anything with this. Let's let's colorize this. Not bad. It's not very good on top, but whatever. All right. Oh, it's still pinching. Whatever. We'll ignore that. share. So I'm going to, I think I can upload it to Sketchfab.